All right, hello, fellows and ladies. Um, I'm going to review uh, Severance now, which is a show on Apple Plus and uh, Mamma Mia. And every now and then, you just watch a show where you're just like, bruh, like, this is, okay, okay. <laughs> this is what the show is, eh? <laughs> Man, holy shit. <laughs> so yeah, no, for those who aren't aware, I'm going to make you aware. And after this, you should be more aware because the show's amazing. Uh, Severance is basically like a sci-fi mystery kind of show where basically um, the premise is basically that there's this company called Lumen where you basically there's this thing in your brain that that basically it's hard to explain. <laughs> I'm not very smart. Basically, there's two versions of you in your brain, one work and one life. And that version uh that version and the two versions are like just do not retain any of the memories so that's like the worst possible way to describe it i'm not doing a horrible job of explaining it okay fuck this i'm looking it up give me a second okay so the, the, the synopsis is mark leads a team of office workers whose memories have been surgically divided between the work and personal lives when a mysterious colleague appears outside of work he begins a journey to discover the truth about their jobs that's like kind of what i said but like worse but yeah, no, but anyway, you get the point. <laughs> um, uh, the concept is very interesting. It's like basically, you know, just shun your brain off or, until you go to work. That what, that sounds awesome, right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, according to this show, not for your work self, but man, to just not have to work kind of, but not really. <laughs> yeah, no, this, this show is so intriguing. Like the first episode, I was just like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is going on? Tell me right now. And it didn't. It took us time <laughs> to tell us shit. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It was never. OK, I won't say it was never slow, but it was it was mainly pretty fast paced. You know what I mean? Like, like it kept you on the edge of your seat. You're just genuinely like wondering, like, what is going on? What does this company do? I, we still don't know. I don't, I, I don't think we were given a, like a like a full answer to what this company does, which I think is fine. Just doing other seasons. But man, it's just like it's just such an intriguing thing um film in a show you're just genuinely like what, what like where is this going you don't really have you don't really have you they, they leave no clues as to where it's going like they like breadcrumbs of like certain specific details but like they leave nothing like they, it's like oh yeah try and figure it out <laughs> idiot and it is brilliant like when we find out what exactly like, we find out like the gist of what's going on and it's like oh oh my like it, everything everything is working in like unison here like the, the set decoration like the, the production design of like this office is so like it's so like atmospheric and like kind of creepy and isolated but also kind of lively it's super weird like it's just four desks at one like the main office where we spend most of the time it's just four desks and yet it's, it looks so dope it's so weird i don't <laughs> I don't know how they pulled that off. The series the director is mainly directed by Ben Stiller, and he did a great job as director. Same with the other directors, I guess, who I'm not going to look up because I don't want him. But yeah, the main kudos goes to the writers for this, like, absolutely, like, um, like pretty much genius, like, satire, or, like, sci-fi mystery. It's pretty awesome. The cast, man, the cast. Everyone, like, this is one of those shows where it's like, oh, they're all incredible. Like, I know Patricia Arquette in particular, you know, she's getting most of the attention, but I wouldn't even say she's the best one. I would say, like, Britt Lauer is who play, who's like the female lead of the show. Patricia Kett's amazing too, but like she's not my favorite performance wise. Uh, Adam Scott, he's I love Adam Scott in general. He's pretty dope. Dr. Turo was dope. Everyone was dope. <laughs> Here's my point I'm trying to make. Honestly, dude, like literally, like I, I, it took me a while to start getting into this show. And a part of me is like, thank God, because I don't think I would have been able to help myself if I watch this on a weekly basis. I've been like, dude, I need to know what's happening now. I'll, I'll, I'll message anyone who I know who's seen it. Like, tell me now. And every episode, every episode ends, which is just like, like, what the fuck's happening? Especially, I will say, the finale of this show, of this season is a fucking amazing, but it's like rude how they ended it. <laughs> it's like, dude, you're gonna end there? Are you kidding me? It's frustratingly, like in a good way. <laughs> it's just like, dude, are you kidding me? Now I gotta wait like a year and a half to find out? Like fucking prick Ben Stiller. I really can't think of anything in this show that isn't like working perfectly. Like the score is so atmospheric and creepy too. Like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> Um, I, I touched on this briefly in my Emmy prediction video. Go watch it now or else I'm going to, I'm like, I'm going to like kick you in the face. Um, but I do think this is going to be an Emmy contender. It's starting to grow. Like, Emmy, like it's starting to like grow in popularity. Thanks in part to Apple's campaigning. So that's good. 
I think it will get a series nod. Uh, I think it's got to get a writing and a directing nod for Ben Stiller or someone else. In terms of acting, I think our, uh, they finally get from our cats and supporting. Thank God she's not leading the slightest. And I think she is going to get nominated. As for everyone else, Britt Lauer, like if they really like the show, she could get in. Actress is pretty slim. Adam Scott, I think the category, I think lead actor is a little too competitive for Adam Scott. And as for supporting actor, I think it's really John Turturro. He could get in, honestly. I, I, I said not really in the video, I think. But um, now I'm like, okay, maybe there is a pretty wide open spot and Severance is growing in popularity. But I think Arquette, like, I think, I don't think it needs acting. Like, you know what I mean? I think Arquette's really like the only one where it's like, oh yeah, she's got it. And that's only because she's like kind of Emmy loyalty. Yeah, overall, Severance, awesome show. <laughs> yeah, super creepy, super smart incredible cast everything is working in unison i just i don't know like what overall like how, what do i say that's negative about the show other than it moves slow a lot of times dude severance fucking nine and a half out of ten amazing show i i, I try not to be like <laughs> i keep on giving really high scores but like man stop <laughs> too many amazing things what can i say um all right that's it video is over now subscribe like I don't really care or don't really, you know, maybe you're just some severance fan hoping for some, you know, people praising it. Well, yeah, hi to you, whatever. All right. Video's over now. <laughs>